to the cycle show on the Trev. Sweet. Game's on as I'm recording. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Anyways, the NHL has started rolling out their award nominees for the 2022-23 season. And it just wouldn't be me if I didn't at least throw some bad predictions your way. Or maybe some good ones, because I think these years, this year's awards has a smidge of predictability to it. But here's one I don't know if I can accurately predict. But who knows, I'm going to give my prediction on it anyway. The first award they dropped, they gave us two. The first award they dropped was the Frank J. Stelke Trophy. So, let's go over some predictions. All right, so we do this every year. We'll do it again this year. The Frank J. Selke Trophy is awarded annually to the forward voted best to excel in the defensive aspects of the game as voted on by the Professional Hockey Writers Association and it will be awarded on June 26th. Now, this year's nominees, now I gotta say, is a pretty impressive class, despite the huge hint of familiarity to this trophy. But, a case could be made for either one of them. Let's get right down to it. So first and foremost, there's Patrice Bergeron. And there's your hint of familiarity. It just wouldn't be the Frank J. Selke Trophy if Bergeron wasn't nominated. Because this is his 12th straight nomination. I don't think anybody has ever been nominated for any award 12 straight years. So that's pretty damn impressive. His 58 points. 58 points in 78 games, which is third on the Maroons, helped them to set to the record-setting season that they had, which, in retrospect, let's not talk about that, <clears throat> kept the Bruins' goals against to a league-best 177. 177 goals against, That's that doesn't happen. Not often, anyway. So your strong case for Bergeron is all statistical. And you can take into account his 61.1% percent at the faceoff was second only in the league to Jonathan Taves. Now along with his 1,706 faceoffs taken, which is also second league wide, he was the first in the league with faceoffs won with 1,043. Fifth in the defensive faceoff percentage was 61.8 percent, had 54 block shots, 38 takeaways, and finished the season with a plus minus rating of 35 that was his best since 2013-2014. Now, if Bergeron were to win, he'd be the only six-time winner. you got to remember, he only beat the record for most Frank J. Selke trophies last year. But he'd be a six-time winner and the first back-to-back -back winner since, well, Patrice Bergeron in 2014 and 2015. And this would be the seventh Frank Selke trophy in the Bruins, Bruins trophy collection. There's nominee number one. The second finest, finalist is Nico Heischer from the New Jersey Devils. Now, obviously, this is his first nomination. It's the first New Jersey Devil to be nominated for this award since 2008. And his 80 points in 81 games were second in scoring in New Jersey. Only behind Jack Hughes, but we'll talk about him later. Now, on top of that, he won 53.9% of faceoffs and was 57.8% in defensive draws. So in his own end, he was pretty damn good. <laughs> Finished the season with a plus minus of 33, which was good for third on New Jersey, New Jersey in far as plus minus is concerned, while helping New Jersey finish second in the Metro Division and qualify for the playoffs for the first time since 2012. Now, this guy went from first overall pick to team captain to blown right up. This would be his first win, obviously, if he was to win, but it would be the second Frank J. Selke trophy for the New Jersey Devils. So, there's finalist number two. And your final nominee is Mitch Marner from, Tor from the Toronto Maple Leafs. Obviously, again, another first-time nominee, and the first Maple Leaf to be nominated for the trophy since 1994. Gotta remember, this trophy is not nearly as old as the Toronto Maple Leafs is. But in, his, in 80 games... He scored 99 points, which was good enough for a team lead. Now, in Toronto, 99 points, that's 
That's pretty damn good. No, I mean, it's a shame he didn't get a hundred. I was actually rooting for him to get a hundred, you know, just to say that he could do it. When he was on the ice, the Maple Leafs would take 53.3% of all shot attempts at a five-on-five -five situation when Marner was on the ice. And Marner had held, led the Maple Leafs forwards with 104 takeaways and finished third on the Leafs with 45 block shots. So if he were to win, obviously, his first and his second, the second trophy for the Toronto Maple Leafs in their trophy case. So here's my pick for the trophy. Now, if this was voted, or if this wasn't voted on, if this was just handed out on statistical merit, we know the winner. But because it's also voted on, and I'm not disrespecting Heisher or Marner in any way, their games are going to come a long way, I guarantee it. They're still young. they got lots of miles ahead of them. Bergeron doesn't. And if rumors are to be believed, and we've seen the end of Patrice Bergeron, they'll vote him a trophy on the way out. I guarantee it. I mean... To be voted the best defensive forward for 12 years in a row and win it six times? That'd be pretty damn impressive. Like, it's, it's already guaranteed he's a Hall of Famer, but to go on the way out with that? That only just says you're the GOAT, right? Right. But anyway, my, my pick is Bergeron. I don't I don't see Heischer or Marner winning it this year. Next year, definitely one of the two, but if, if the rumors are to be believed and Bergeron's out the door, it's his. That's my pick. Let me know your pick for this year's Frank J. Sel Selkie Trophy. This is another one of those hockey shows. I want to thank you for tuning in. Don't think I don't appreciate the gesture, especially if you're right here. It's a great thing for both of us. So if you are here, if you want to say hi, if you stick what I'm doing, give it a thumbs up. I think I've earned it. <laughs> that red button that says subscribe on it, if you haven't hit it by now, it's holding you back. We're going for 250. Let's make that happen. A subscribe will make you feel good. Believe me on that. That social that I never use, it's in the description down below. So, I got one more award prediction to give you before they give me another one tomorrow. So, in the meantime, between time, be looking forward to hearing some Trev. Later.